can you hear me? Yes. How are you? Very well, teacher. Nice. Did you have a good day? Yes, a very good day. Very okay. productive. Yes. Good, good, nice. How do you commute to work? I don't understand you. Uh, commute? commute? Uh, let's see. You see the word in the chat? Uh, let's see. Commute. Yes. Yes, but I don't know the meaning. Okay, um, so ask me the same question. How do you commute to work? Okay, uh, usually I commute to work by motorcycle. Ah, sometimes by car, sometimes by bus. Okay, so I usually commute my work by car. Okay, good. But sometimes by bus. Okay, good. What's the distance from your house to your work? Um, I think about, um, I don't know in kilometers, but okay. almost eight minutes. Oh, that's not bad. No, no. Okay. It's very good. near for me. Okay. So yeah, the word commute is uh, what we use when you go from one place to another. Okay. Yes. So okay. in my case, since I, um, I don't have a full-time position, I teach per hour. So I have okay. to commute to different places during the day. Okay. In yes. my case, only, only to one place. I have to commute only to one place. Good. It has advantages and disadvantages. Yes, it is. Okay. And what other institutions have you worked at, Teresa? Mm, a long, long time ago, I worked at um, Liceo Panamericano, but it was when I was beginning as a okay. teacher. Okay. Good, good. All right, good. Nice. Okay. Nidia and Jose, welcome. Can you hear me? Thank you, teacher. All okay. right. Good, good, very good. Nice. Everything was fine today? Yes. Okay. Well. What about you, Nidia? Did you have a good day? Uh. More or less with so many meetings okay. and I feel, I feel I I don't work when I have so much meetings. Exactly. When you have so many meetings. Yes. Right. Yes, yeah, sometimes meetings are productive and other times maybe they're not too productive. But yes. at the end we have to attend them. <laughs> yes. So it's part of the, all right, so let's begin. Thank you for being punctual. Let's have a little review about yesterday. Um, can you tell me what we did yesterday? Nidia, do you remember the activities we did? Uh, let me see. You can check your notes. The, the o, o sas comp. Okay, OSAS comp. Yes, and what is the OSAS comp? It's an acronym. acronym. Very good, it's an acronym. And, and what exactly is the OSAS comp? Uh, when you use there uh, a lot of adjectives in, okay. a, in a sentence. Right, right. And do you remember what we said about using a Diosas comp in a real life situation? Uh, well, you, you, you don't usually use all the part for the Osas comp. Exactly, exactly. Except if you are presenting a new product in the market, then you have to be like very specific 
and you have to give all the details to the customer. In that case, then it's necessary to bring as many details as possible so people know the product. Okay. Okay. Okay, what else did we do? Welcome, Freddie and Funny. Good evening, teacher. How are, how are you guys doing today? Is everything yeah. fine? Yes, yeah, all fine. Good. All fine. Good. Um, this question is for everybody. Was it raining today where you guys uh, live? Yes, teacher. Yes, it was raining. Okay. And you, Nidia, was it raining where you were? Yes, but I didn't notice until okay. I, I get out. All right, good. What about you, Funny? Uh, was it raining during the day where you were? Yes, in the uh, afternoon. Okay, was it raining a lot or just a little bit? It was a little bit. Here in Santa Ana, it was a little bit. Okay, good. What about Freddy? Was it raining a lot over there? It was raining like two hours. Okay, okay. You were in Rosario de... Rosario what? La Paz. Yes. La Paz. Okay. Right. Yeah. So I, I went to the airport today, and now when I was on my way there, the Autopista Comalapa was wet. Yeah. So, you know, it had rained before. So it was good that it rained before I was going there. Oh, <laughs> Yes. That's good. Yes. So, okay. So, we were discussing the OSAS comp, and like Nita was saying, is what we use to give a particular order when we're describing something. And she also said that we don't use the OSAS comp. Let me see it. I don't know who. Do you hear noise now? Not now. No, no. Okay, fine. Um, so like Nita was saying, we don't, we don't really use uh, OSAS comp in a real life situation, except if you're giving a presentation and you are talking about a new product or anything new, then you have to be very specific and then you use it. If you're presenting a new book, a new program, whatever, you have to be very specific. Um, do you have any questions about yesterday? No. No? Okay. okay. No teacher. All right. So let's see this here. No, not this one. This one here. Let's see this. So we were um, discussing can you see the PowerPoint? Yes. Okay. So we were discussing whether this information was more relevant to tourists or to residents. And we were able to mention last one, landmarks. Uh, do you remember the meaning of landmarks? Monuments. Monuments, mm -hmm. yes. Historical sites. Historical sites. Yes. So landmarks, uh, we're talking about monuments, buildings, sculptures, anything that identifies a particular city. So if I say the, the Hayful Tower, what comes to your mind? Eiffel Tower, uh, Paris. 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 Okay, what if I say Big Ben? London. London. What if I say the Opera House? Australia. Australia. Sydney, Australia. Very good. What if, I, what if we say um, the Pyramid of the Sun? Mexico. 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 And the Golden Gate Bridge? 
San Francisco. Very San Francisco. Good. Very good. San Francisco is the second most beautiful city in the world. Huh? It's the second most beautiful city in the world, San Francisco. Really? Yes. You know which one is the first one? No. El Salvador. <laughs> it is. Santana. Well, yeah. Santana has nice places. Yes. Yeah, but honestly, we're supposed to be proud of our country, you know, because I, I was in San Francisco for nine years, and it's a very nice, beautiful city. But I tell people that it's not as beautiful as my country. <laughs> yeah. That's good. Yes. Okay, so those are landmarks. Very good, because I mentioned the landmark, and you guys made the connection with a particular city or country. That's good. Now, what about nightlife? Is this more important for a resident or a tourist? For tourist. tourist. Sure. For tourist. Right, right. And what about public transportation? For residents. For yes. residents. Yes. I, I think it's important for both, but it's, it's more relevant for locals. Yes. Right? <laughs> Okay, um, any questions about we, what we left incomplete yesterday? Yeah. Any comments about this? Okay, no. um, I was checking the platform and there is a reading exercise in 3.9. Uh, do you guys remember that one? 3.9. Mm -hmm. it, it, it's a reading, um, Exercise, it's an article where they talk about cities. So my question is this, when you guys read and you see a word that you don't know, what do you do? What is your first reaction? Investigate about that. Okay, and, and how do you investigate, Douglas? In my case, I, I got a big dictionary, uh -huh. so I, I found the English area to found the meaning, but in English. Okay, so I imagine that the dictionary you have is has different sections. Yeah, yeah. Okay, good. So where is this dictionary? Is it with you all the time? Um, not really. <laughs> okay. Okay, what about the others? What do you do when you have a, 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 a new word and you don't know what the meaning is? What do you do? I write, I write in my notebook and okay. then I try to remember. Okay, good. Who said Google? Me. Hi. Oh, hi, Sorry Karen. I'm late. <laughs> it's okay. Better late than never. Don't worry. Okay, <laughs> thank you. So uh, you Google it? Yes. But what exactly do you do? Do you translate it? Do you look for synonyms, antonyms? What exactly do you do? Uh, well, uh, most of the time I just write the word and uh, I see the things that, that came out, right? So if I understand the word, uh, I don't use the translator, but if I don't understand, yes. Okay. I, Translator. All right. Someone else. What do you do with a new word? I I used to look at the Merriam-Webster online. Okay. And it gives you examples of use. Okay. But if I even though that I don't understand, I do like Karen and go to Google. All right. Good. Any other suggestions, Evelyn, Jose? Sometimes you could keep reading and then sometimes you can understand the, the, the meaning of the word. Good, very good. Uh, many times, like the rest of the information gives you the meaning of the word. Yeah. Now, sometimes it's necessary like, look, I, am, I read more, but I still don't get the, 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 the meaning of the word. Yeah. So sometimes, you know, you need to do a little bit of research. Now, my question is, when you are reading something and you don't understand a word, do you stop and look for the word or do you finish reading and you check later? Yes. No. 
No, I, I finished reading. Stop and look for the word. Okay, so you stop and you look for the word. Okay. Yes. Uh, funny, what do you do when you see a new word and you don't know the meaning? Immediately, I check in my dictionary or in my app in the cell phone. Okay, fine, good. Anybody else wants to share what you guys do when you see a new word? No? Okay. I you... stop and then I search it in Google okay. and for have more clear the rest of the sentence. All right. All right. Um, do you guys translate? Is that your first option? Translate the word? No. No? no. 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 Translations are good, but it should be your last option, not your first option. So like some of you guys were saying, there is a new word, you don't know what the meaning is. So um, you look for the English, English definition. Now, and, and you try to understand and, and see how much uh, of input you can get. So sometimes people stop, sometimes people just keep on going. Now, have you ever used this dictionary called Oxford 3000? No. No? Okay, so when you have a chance, uh, visit Oxford 3000. And uh, do you know, do you have any ideas why the number 3000 in the dictionary? The quantity of the words? Exactly. It has exactly 3000 words that every person needs to communicate effectively in English and they go in alphabetical order. And um, okay. you will be surprised to see how many words you recognize from each letter. And you'll be like, oh my goodness, uh, I know like 85, 90% of, of the words there. And, and the good thing, uh, not only the dictionary gives you the definition, but it also gives you two different types of pronunciation. It gives you the American version and the British version. So you can mm. compare and see how different they are. Yeah. Okay. Mm. All right. Um, any other tips that you may want to share of what you do with a new word? Now, if you have a new word, how do you put it into practice? What do you do with the new word? I try to I use see. it. Yes. <sighs> Teresa? I think that it's, it's a good idea to try to write sentences using it. Yes. Freddie, you were going to say something? Oh, um, I just try to use it. <laughs> right, right. Okay, anybody else wants to share what to do with a new word? I look for the context of the word and I try to to use it in a sentence or, or something. Okay, like okay, good. Now remember this, your number one mission, you guys have to be able to explain what you do and what exactly you do in your job. So for you to say that, you guys gotta be familiar with all the vocabulary that surrounds you. So if you say, look, I'm, I'm a receptionist, I receive clients, I send emails, I have to make sure that I know the vocabulary for all the things that I have in my desk. Just an example, right? Now, if you are a nurse, you have to be able to say, you know what? I check patients, I look for their records, um, I take them to the lobby so they can wait. But also as a nurse, I need to be able to recognize the names of all the things that I use. And that applies to all of you guys here. Whether you are administrative, you are in the production department, you are in the reception, it doesn't matter what you do. You guys need to be able to say exactly what you do and the tools that you use uh, to perform your work. 
-hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. uh, any, anything else about a new word? Remember that last week we mentioned five features about the things you should know about a new word. Can you refresh our memories and, and tell us what those five are? Pronunciation. Okay, pronunciation. Meaning. The meaning of the word. The spelling. The spelling. Now remember that the spelling takes forms in two ways. What are the two ways to do spelling? Spelling takes place in two forms. The written. Yes, very good. And the other one? So imagine, imagine that we are in a classroom right now. And you say, Francisco, how do you spell the word chimney? I go to the board and I write it for you. But what about right now? We don't have a whiteboard. And I said, uh, Maribel, how do you spell your last name? What is she going to do? S-A-N-C-H-E-Z. Okay, so what is that? Did she Spelling. write it? Spelling. Did she write it? She's... No. No, no she did it. Exactly. So spelling takes place in two different forms. If you're face to face, you write the word. But like right now, imagine that we don't have a chat and I said, Maribel, I need your last name. So she's gonna be, okay, my last name is L-O-P-E-Z. So remember that. And that's the reason why you guys need to know your alphabet. The alphabet is to spell words. You go to a job interview and they're not gonna ask you for the alphabet. They will ask you to spell words. Right? So spelling, meaning, pronunciation, what else? How to use, How to use it. How to use it and? The part of speech. And part, part of, of speech. speech. And part of speech. Okay. The auction. Do you remember uh, this example? Do you see the chat? Yeah. yeah. Deduction versus discount. What's the difference? This is an example of, like you said, deduction, discount. I know discount. What's the meaning of discount? It's a reduction in prices. No. Okay, yes, it's a reduction in prices, very good. So why is Black, why is Black Friday so popular? Mm. Uh, apparently. Mm -hmm. yeah. Suppose this counts. Exactly, that that. exactly, yeah. because supposedly you get discounts. So let me ask you this. How do you say, me descontaron lo del banco? You don't say discount. You say no. deduction. So you say they deducted the Deduct. money from the bank, right? Oh, yeah. So discount means to pay less. Mm -hmm. Deduction mm -hmm. is the money they take from your check. Seguro social, mm -hmm. AFP. And maybe if you have something pending with the bank, they take that money too. <laughs> so this is an example of how to use the word because you can say discount i know discount it's a very common word it's easy to pronounce and everything but maybe we use it the wrong way you see what i mean yeah okay good so uh so uh we said pronunciation spelling how to use it meaning the meaning and what's the last one Part of, of speech. speech. part of speech. And what is part, part of speech? If it is part of grammar, it's a verb, a noun. Very good. Or an How, adjective. Good. How many parts does grammar have? How many parts? Eight. 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 
Okay, the American version has eight. The British version has nine. Can you remind me what the difference is? I don't know. Ma, ma. Okay, you see the example that I just gave you? I like the roses. Uh huh. What about the other one? I like roses. So what's the difference? The article. The article, very good. Uh, what's the name of this article? The name tells you the function. This is called definite article. Definite. 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 Now, what do, you, what do you understand by the word definite? It's a specific. Yes, it's specific, it's concrete. So, and, and this is very important. This article in Spanish, we use it all the time. All the time. El, la, los, las, los, and so many. English, you don't use it that much. So which sentence is correct? Is it, I like the roses or I like roses? The second one. I like roses. Are you sure? Mm. Yeah. Most of you guys said, well, the second one is correct. Somebody has a different opinion? Eduardo? Yeah. No, I believe that the second one is the right answer. Okay, very good. Freddy, you want to say something? Uh, I know that I like roses is when you are talking in, a, in general. But when you say I like the roses, is because, for example, you are near of that rose or something like that. You are a specific because you have maybe in front or near of you. Good, good. Someone else wants to give your opinion? Yes, I think I like roses is the correct form in general. And if I want to be specific, I have to say, I like the roses that he sent to you. Good, very good. Now, this is the difference between the American version and the British version. Uh, Americans, they don't consider the definite article to be something relevant, but it is relevant. The British, they say, this is part of speech. And if you compare the two sentences, the meaning is completely different. Like you guys were saying, I like the roses, like your friend said, is because you're talking about some roses in particular, right? Yeah. So if I visit your house and you say, come on, I'll show you the garden. I go outside and I say, oh my goodness, your house is beautiful, I like the roses. I'm talking about the roses in your house, right? Now, if I say, yeah, it's very specific. Now, uh -huh. Yes, in that case, there is some context on it. But without a context, I think that I like roses to be, to be general. Uh, that's the one that yes. is most yes. used. That's what exactly. I think, but I, I'm not no, sure. No, you're right. About it. No, you're right, Robert. And that was my, my that was my point. In Spanish, we use the article all the time, and when we start using the language, we think that it's okay to use uh, the article all the time too. But your answer is good. I just wanted to make the observation that in English, you only use it when you are specific. Yes. Okay. Now, if it's generally said, I like roses. Now, let me give you one last example. Okay. It's two. 
to the beach. I went to the beach the last no, Friday. Is that okay? You are spe you are specifying that you go that you went to the beach last Friday. In, okay. On the, but if so, you uh -huh. if you if you don't put or write the article, you just say I went to the beach last Friday. You are not specific on that. Okay. It could be another Friday. Okay. Very good. Yes, because last Friday there was only one Friday. So you don't need to be specific. Now, I can say I went to the beach the last Friday in November because November yes, comes for Fridays, exactly. right? Yes. So in that case, then I have to be specific. And then I can say, well, I went to the beach the last Friday of September because <laughs> September has four, right? So in that case, yes. okay. And, and how do you pronounce it? No, no. How do you pronounce it? The, 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 or the, 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 it depends. It depends. It depends on what? First, the following word. The, the following the letter. First. Okay. The next word. Letter of the following word. The first sound. The following word. Very good. The next sound. The next sound. The next How sound. do you pronounce that one? The apple. The apple. The apple. The apple. The apple. Uh, and the other one? Yeah, the book. The book. The book. The book. Right. Book. So once again, this is called definite article. The first one you say the apple. The apple. Why? Yeah. Because the next sound is a vowel. A E I O U. Sentence number two, you say the book. The book. The book. Why? Because the following the sound is a consonant. Yes. Okay. So D, the the two options are good. It depends on what the next sound is. All right. So any questions or any other comments you want to make regarding vocabulary? No. No? Okay, so let's continue. Let's see this here. This is over with. <laughs> now. <laughs> you see the vocabulary section? Vocabulary yeah. sounds. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Now, we have been talking uh, about cities and things like that. So this is some of the vocabulary that you use when you're describing towns. Uh, I need a volunteer to read the options that we have here. Borden Town. Borden Town. Mountain Town. Town. Resort Town. Resort Town. Suburban Town. Coastal Town. Industrial Town. Tourist Town. Okay. Now remember this. Mountain. You, you pronounce it mountain. 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 How do you say algodón in English? Cotton. 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 How do you say podrido in English? Rotten. 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 So you have rotten. Mountain. Anyways, uh, what is a border town? It's a limit between countries. Very good. Can you mention an example of a border town in El Salvador? Aguachapan. Candelaria de la Frontera. Okay, Candelaria. Candelaria. Now, when you say Aguachapan, where exactly in Aguachapan? Aguachapan, Las Chinamas. Okay, Las Chinamas. Very good. Uh, any other border towns that you can remember? Anguiatu. Yep, La Unión. El Poi Chalate, good, La, very good. El Amatillo. El Amatillo. El Amatillo. El Amatillo, right. And many other that have, uh, many others that have uh, blind spots. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now, what is the function of, of a blind spot? 
What do you do in a blind spot? It's you to can cross uh, um, illegal hide. illegal uh, yeah. commerce, illegal yes. trade. Yes. Uh, usually, uh, you use a blind spot because you don't want to pay taxes. That's one. But another reason can be you are moving something illegal. Yeah. Exotic animals, weapons, drugs, people. people. Right, right, right. So people use that. What about a mountain town? A mountain town. Mountain town. Monte Cristo? Yes. Mm -hmm. where, where is Monte Rendera? Cristo? Where San is Monte Ignacio. Cristo? Yeah, San Ignacio is a mountain town. Yes. Honduras, Guatemala, El Salvador. Okay. But can you mention mountain towns? San Ignacio is a good example. Las Pilas, uh, Chalatenango, it's a border town and as well it's uh, a mountain town. Yes. Chalate has some beautiful places. Perkin? Yes. Perkin, yes. Perkin is a mountain town. Good. Uh, what about, have you ever been to Tepesontes? Never. Never? No. no. Okay. No, when you no. go to, when you go to the airport, you see a huge rock, a big rock. And near that big rock, it's Tepesontes. It's really high. Okay. What about a resort town? Resort town. What is a resort town? Uh, I got a, a question. Yes. What is the difference between resort town and tourist town? It uh, depends on the type of tourist. Tourism. It, 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 yes, it depends on the type of attractions that you have. Uh, so let me give you an example. Um, the Cameron. What is the uh, Cameron? Salinita. Yeah. But, but what is it? It's a resort. Town? It's a place where, where it's a resort. You, where we it's a resort. Our, it's a resort. Rest. Okay, and, and it's where a is it located? Where is it located? Salinita. Salinita? Right. Uh, so, so Salinita is a resort uh, town. Yeah. Uh, okay. I got it. Sonsonate, huh? Yeah. Costa del Sol is a resort town? Right. Okay. Yes. Oh. In, uh, in San Marcelino. So let's say you have a very famous hotel like the Cameron. The town where the hotel is, it's classified as a resort town. Okay. okay. What about the suburbs? The suburban. Uh huh. Suburban town, I think, is like um, near Santana. Okay. Now, if we talk about San Salvador, we have the metropolitan area. What are the, the suburbs of San Salvador? Uh -huh. La Cima? Uh, La Cima is still in, in, in San Salvador. Somebody but, was mentioning... the suburban then? Because I, I think the suburban was... Near the downtown, near downtown. Yes, uh, but the suburbs, like someone was saying, like you have the metropolitan area, then you have San Marcos, Apopas, Oyapango, Lourdes. Those are the suburbs. Okay. Yeah. What about coastal towns? Like Acajutla? Yes. Acajutla is a clear example. What else? What else, people? La Unión. La Libertad. La Unión, La Libertad. Yes. San what Diego. If, San Diego. El Tunco. El Tunco. El Tunco is very nice, especially at nighttime. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What about industrial towns? San Salvador. Every kind of Macios. Okay. American Park. Yes, American Park is a good example. Now the remember this. Zone. Okay, the free zones, right. Now when we're talking about industrial town, okay, like every place in San Salvador 
has industry. But when we talk about industrial town, we're talking like American Park, where there is a lot of work, and that's why that place is famous. The American Park is a prison. You talk about the prison or Ciudad yes. In El, in El Salvador, when you talk about industrial town, usually there is a clear connection with free zones. Yes. Okay. Right. Mm -hmm. Have you heard about Plan de la Laguna? Oh, yeah. 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 That's an industrial town. Yes. I okay. And I how, work in San Bartolo. Okay, that's an industrial town too. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Siemens. Yes, uh, in uh, I mean, uh, Merliot. Merliot. Merliot, yeah. good, good, nice. Mm -hmm. And what about the tourist town? Ataco. Ataco? Yes, La Palma, Puchitoto. La Palma, Puchitoto. Suchitoto, too. Yes, now if you had, if they gave you three days off. In your work, where would you go in El Salvador? Excuse me. If you yeah. had three days off and your supervisor tells you, look, I think we're okay. You can take off three days. Where would you go? To a mountain town. Okay. To, to, my beach. Beach. to the beach. To the beach. <laughs> okay. Do you guys prefer the mountain or the beach? The beach. Mountain. 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 Well, in that case, I would prefer to stay at home watching movies and resting a lot. <laughs> <laughs> and you save money too. That's good. Well, yes, 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 that's true. Yeah, sure. You know, the good thing about El Salvador is like, you go to the beach, it's near. You go to the mountains, it's near. Everything is near. Yes. Cerro yeah. Verde is nice, beautiful place. Yes. Yeah. Okay, good. All right, uh, any questions about the towns? No. No? No. Okay, yeah. so we, we have one more slide and this is the time that I'm going to, um, what do you call it, make groups and you're gonna have to discuss this. Uh -huh. This. Um, here we go. Okay, do you see the you see the sheet? Yes. Okay, can somebody please help me read? Which of these issues matter of quality of life? Okay. Okay, what's the first one? Affordable housing. Uh -huh. Housing. Housing. What's the meaning Something. of affordable? affordable. Something is affordable? that is easy to pay. Easy. Very good. Yeah. It's something easy. that you can pay. Yes. Yeah. So you said, okay, $25 to stay in a hotel, that's affordable. That means it's easy to pay. Very good. What's number two? Convenient for Convenient transportation. transportation. Okay. If you travel by bus, what is the latest you can catch the bus to go to your house? Uh, it depends on the place, but 8, 9, 8 p.m. Yeah, 9 p.m. Okay, what about the others? What's the latest you can catch the bus that takes you home? 9 p.m. 9 p.m. Yeah. Okay. Anybody Eight. else? 8.30. 8.30. Okay, good. In my case, when I have to catch the bus from San Salvador to Lourdes, I have to be in Santa Tecla at 9.30, and I still catch the last one. So it's pretty good. Okay, yeah. what about uh, the next one? Good health care. Okay, do you think health that's care. important? Yeah, of course. Yeah. yeah. Definitely. Yeah. What's the other one? It's the neighborhoods. neighborhoods. All right. Next one. Low, Low crime. crime. Okay. Low crime. What's the other one? 
Listen to weather. weather. And weather. the last one is? Variety of variety shops. Of shops. Okay, so I'm going to make groups. Make sure that everybody talks uh, so you guys practice your pronunciation and everything. Ready? Ready. Yeah. Okay. okay. Here we go. <laughs> See you soon. It's just matter. How do you do? <laughs> and I'm washing my 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 cell phone. Okay. Do you see the the options that you have? Yes. Okay. So start yes, giving your opinion. About the first one. Took a picture. Which of these issues matter for quality of life? Okay. Which ones do you consider to be more relevant? Um, <laughs> all of them. Okay. All of them are very important. <laughs> even yeah. for, even variety full, of shops. Full health, of full course. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because you need uh, all of that to to have a good life, because you need a, a good house that you can afford. And that house need a uh, convenient public transportation. Um, well, historic neighborhoods, uh, I think, is not that important. Okay. Low crime, of course. And the weather in El Salvador is hot all the time. Exactly. Now, what kind of weather do you guys prefer? If you could Cold. choose call. All right. What about the others? Between degrees or grades between uh, 15, um, 15 to 20, it's okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. 15 and 20. Between 15 and 20. Okay. Fine. Mm -hmm. What about the others? People? Teacher, in my case, I think the most important for life is good health. Sure. I think I think we have to put it to put them in 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 gray in grays. Okay. There is. There is. Uh-huh. There is this one good health care. So you and think that number one should be good health care? Yeah. Yeah. Then uh, don't you put uh, have have peace <laughs> <laughs> in my mind? In my mind, yeah. It's sure. very important. Yeah, if you have peace, it's because uh, there is low crime. Because this is a big factor if you want to live in peace or not. No, I don't think so. Okay. I think the most important is that we have to we have to 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 develop and our spirit. Okay. Uh huh. Ah, uh, you are talking about inner peace. Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah, yes. Now, where can you find inner peace now that you mention it? Where can you find uh, it or how can you find it? Be positive. Yes. Uh, being positive. Uh -huh, we have to be positive and uh, being uh, thankful. 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 Thankful, uh -huh. Thankful, yes. Um, we have to admire 
de nat natural natural places and we have we have to think in in something beautiful and be positive uh -huh, uh -huh, i think i've i've changed because i i am putting that kind of 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 uh, thing thing como se dice pensamiento thingless thoughts thing, thoughts aha uh -huh, in my in my mind mm -hmm. good very good mm -hmm. all right let me God, 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 okay i think that is very important in our life sure mm -hmm. sure definitely mm -hmm. okay i will see you in a minute let me visit your friends i have to go check okay Okay. Okay, teacher. No, it's, it's general, I think. Yeah. I think it's general that Uber is cheaper than a taxi. Yeah, than taxi. And yes. last year we were we were in Mexico in Yucatan, mm -hmm. and there is a, another application called Didi. Mm -hmm. Didi is the Chinese version mm -hmm. for uber uber and it's really almost half of price than uber so it's half spectacular price. yes it is wow. yes so we, yes. we need didi here yes definitely uh -huh. yes. Uh, what what were you doing in yucatan were you uh, visiting or work no uh we were just tourism okay i was in uh -huh. merida like 17 yes. years ago beautiful oh. town. yes i think it's very different but it's always so quiet so beautiful i like merida is a good place to travel in public transportation because you go to downtown at 11 at night and you find a, a bus yes and it takes you wherever you want to go Exactly. Exactly. And all is very, very easy to go. Sure. No, no, no problems. Yeah. I, I liked uh, Merida very much. Yes. It, it's, it's, it's pretty in good. Yucatan. Yeah, in Yucatan. Very nice. So which one are you discussing right now? About the transportation. Oh, Public good, good, very good. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes. And what were you doing in Merida? Uh, I was visiting. Um, in that time, I was living in California. Mm -hmm. And when I was younger, <laughs> we, I used to go to Mexico from California with my friends. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, you know, I was... I was uh, I was always going places. Yes. So you went to Cancun. That's a good idea. No, I we didn't go to Cancun. We went to Merida because we had a friend there, so we went to his house. And then when we were going back to California, we were partying too. You know, like <laughs> okay. So, so those days are over. <laughs> No, yes. but you can go and it, it's very, it's very cheap, really cheap. Okay. Mexico is cheap and Merida, so much. Okay, good, good. Maybe I'll go back one day. Yes. All right. Um, what about good health care? Uh, that is something very, very important to have a good health care um, because you never know when you could need it. Yes, I think I was blessed. I am blessed, really, because in my workplace, they give us... Um, medical uh, care? Yes, medical care. And we a have private, a, a, a... Private medical care? Yes. Have mm -hmm. a, and we have a, a clinic. At the, at the place of work and I think we are very they take care of us that's good that's yes. really good 
because yes. there are many companies in El Salvador they are totally the opposite you know like yes they yes. even have... even even an aspirin they 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 tell mm -hmm. you many things before they give you an aspirin mm -hmm. yeah I have a friend my best friend she works at uh, social security uh -huh. institute and even though she works there to have a an appointment Yes, it's difficult or to get um, medicine. medicine. It's hard. Okay. And she Can has I everyone there. Yes, she has to take a, a medical care. Like any other patient. Private. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yeah, funny. What do you think? It's funny there. Yes, but yes, she's she is. Shy. Excuse me. Uh huh. What are you doing, funny? Mm -hmm. um, repeat, please. Huh? The answer, the question. Yeah. Which one do you consider is important to have a quality of life? Which, which one do you think is relevant if you want to have a good quality of life? I think she's mute. Yes. Oh, ah, yes, she's mute. Yes, she's. Teacher. Yes. In a neighborhood, it says. Uh huh. In my case. Okay. Uh, is near the different place, places, and the schools and malls and different um, in my work and at 20 minutes. Uh -huh. And near the, the shores and near the restaurant. Okay, so church, restaurant, school, and work are important to you. Yes. Good, good. Because in, in the safe, the near, excuse me, near the, the customers. Near your the, customers. Yes. Okay, good, good. Okay, let me go visit your, your, uh, your classmates. I will see you in a minute. Okay. Okay. And which one do you think is the less important? Across the the street, one of another is is uh, I believe a uh, what? Como decirlo? It's like. Uh, uh, a small, a small town with a small, uh, with a small business that make a, a variety in in all that can be offered. That is how I live. Yeah, I thought that, for example, also here in El Salvador, it is you you don't have the same variety of shops here at San Salvador that if you go to Chalatenango, for yes. example. Yes, of course, it's, 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 it's different levels and it's different, well, it's a different culture of of money. It's oh, yeah. a different culture of uh, in other economic contexts. Yeah. I believe. Yeah. Yeah, every town is different. I, yes. thought, I thought that we got that lifestyle because we we got a lot of influence from United States United States sorry for the movies, music and all the programs that we saw in internet. I don't know. Yes, there's a lot of influence from the states, definitely. Yeah. Okay, so let's go back to the session. Okay. Okay.
Are you guys ready to go nine nine? Yes. Yes, we we are. Are ready. Ready. You have your pillow, blanket, everything ready. <laughs> yes. yes. A glass of water before you go to sleep. <laughs> yes. Okay, yes. so it's that time again. Once again, thank you very much for your time. I will see you tomorrow, same day, uh, same place, same time. And tomorrow is the last day of the week. So have a good yes. night. Sleep well. Good night. Okay, Thank good you. Night. Good, good night, night everyone. Good night, nice to Bye. see you all. Good night, everybody. Get good some night. rest. Bye. Bye. Bye.